juicy. You just gotta learn. You gotta learn its quirks. You're, the boat is literally leaning like this. Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Outdoor Greatness Day. Up here at Guggen HQ, starting off another video. Just brought the boat up here. It is wet. It has been absolutely raining, flooding actually. I'm meeting up with Lunkers TV today. We're not really sure what's gonna happen, but we're planning right now on doing a little small lake fishing because Lunkers just got his new little boat and he is ready to drop it in somewhere. And I'm going on the maiden voyage, so I'm pretty pumped. We don't know if it's gonna look like chocolate yoo-hoo out there, but we're gonna have a good time and you guys are coming along with us, so let's go. It is a never ending story! Look at this thing! <laughs> Look at her! Ready to go! LunkersTV.com! Ready to go! Look at the trolling motor! This thing's got some stories and we'll have more great stories to come. Hasn't even been made on its voyage yet, but here's what we're dealing with the skies. The skies have opened. Low, and there I got them. <laughs> Lightning just popped out. We left here about uh, three hours ago, and nothing happened. There it is. I sat in here and I filmed a video. I went deep, old school LFG on the uh, on the lines. I haven't even posted that yet. If you want to know about lines, when to use them, what types of line, why it's good, different scenarios. Um, I did that. I went old school. I went Lunkers TV pool type videos. Gary, you've been doing some damage on the Goldies over here now. I think Rob put like 500 fish in here the other day and he's already been hammering down, but I don't know where you put it, dude. I don't know where you put it. You I just, you've got terrible genetics, man. Meanwhile, the catfish over here is about ready to be transplanted into the Amazon. It's grown tremendously. It's getting huge. Look at that shovel nose. Bluegills, they grow. Catfish, it grows. Gary just doesn't grow. We gathered up some fishing poles this morning and we were going to uh, give it a dangle, even though it's been flooded. But we got out towards the place and the storm clouds opened up and we said, no, the lightning is not good, especially with his new aluminum boat and uh, graphite fishing rods. Those are not a good combo right there for uh, life. We're figuring out this warehouse is uh, kind of like the treehouse. It's got it's got some leaky areas. This actually used to be a rodeo arena, so uh, we're getting all the little quirks fixed up for the attempt today to make outdoor greatness. That was an arrow. I have tuned down my original bow. This is uh, the bow that I first started hunting with to probably about 30 pounds. I'm able to pull it back real easy. I can get some good shots. And we're gonna try to do some bow fishing. The carp and gar, they go crazy during these rains. That's the, that's the only good thing. I'm not the biggest fishing bow. As you can tell by my language, I don't do it that often. I like to fish a lot more, truthfully. But the carp situation, Especially right now when the bass are trying to spawn is uh, That's when I really don't like them I really just want to take them out of the lake because I always see them up there like with their tails kicking around right next to the bass and they mess up their their um, Their eggs and stuff. They, they're not supposed to be in there. They're invasive So we just want to go put the hammer down. So we're gonna try to do that as soon as these storms clear out We're taking a drive. We're taking a drive to Lunker land right now He's got to go pick up his bow She's ready to rip and roar. She's the 70 horse. The sun's coming out and we are going bow dangling, baby. I almost took the seat out, but then you wouldn't have had a seat to sit in. Look at that. We need to discuss that seat here in a minute. <laughs> Jeez, I don't want to hit my door on this propeller. I don't want to hurt the propeller. You are good. You are still good. Currently good. Once upon a time, my first boat was like this. It was 17 foot, it was called the Bandit. Bandito, 
what I called it. One time, I went out in a cold day with with a buddy, and I, I'd already been used to the boat, and I I basically just hot launched it. It's what you call hot launch when you just you pop it off the trailer, and then you think it's going to start up, and then uh, you basically just bank it right there. Well, what ended up happening was it didn't start, and my buddy floated out to the middle of the lake, and uh, he didn't know how to operate the, the vessel, and it was it was a it was a bad deal. I thought I was going to lose a friend that day. Uh, so we're going to try to make sure that doesn't happen here. Kind of go through the uh, you know the check like a pilot would on a, on an airplane. Make sure it starts first, and before we, Do you, you know, even unstrap it from this, the back? this ain't gonna be a hot launch. Do you want to even unstrap it from the back? Yeah, that's old school straps there. I know. Should we even unstrap it or should we remove it? No, we definitely we, we should unstrap it. Yeah. So you really think it's gonna be okay? I think it's gonna be okay. It is kind of nice having all those compartments now that you get on a boat with no compartments. Looks like you got a water temperature gauge here. Yeah, it looks it looks pretty legit. This is this is fun, man. I, um, impellers looking pretty good. I think this boat was actually used to uh, save some people in the Houston flood, so it's got some merit. Transducer, so the non-existent. In the plug, right? plug is in there. Put it in myself. You ever been slightly nervous about a launch? Yes, I have. This is a couple one. times with you. <laughs> this is... I've been I've been even more nervous on trailering a couple times with you. <laughs> So this okay. is not out of the ordinary. This is this is our trolling motor for the day. That's it. <laughs> what what is that? I don't know. It's on a it's a it's an odd place. Yeah. It's I don't an know. odd placement. Oh. Okay. Check. There's a large pole in the middle. See, this is what I was talking just about. For so the battery's balance. just gonna have to just sit. Oh, did we get the battery? Yeah, that's right there. Okay, thank goodness. And now I'm just kind of like... I'm just kind of hot, hot wire it. Yeah, I mean, she's going to be... The battery just kind of goes up there with you, I guess. Oh. I wonder if she'll fit in here. <laughs> Y'all are going to want to stay tuned for this voyage. It's going to be fun. Good, buddy. It's going to start? Okay, I am going to back right. Lunkers in. To the water. I certainly do not want to be on the uh, on the starting side of what's happening back there. Don't want to be responsible for running into any objects that don't need to be ran into. Do we need to clear any logs off the boat ramp? Are we good? Okay. So the object today is to look in the shallow flooded cover, and there's plenty of it, and find these carp. Gar like current uh, carp really just need something kind of sticky to lay their eggs on so they like to use flooded vegetation to lay their eggs unlike bass she purring she purring okay okay i'm gonna i'm gonna unlatch it figured out another little little wonky thing little thing here yeah yeah go ahead back her up a little bit see just a just a just a nose hair. I'm not really going anywhere. You're not going anywhere? No. Press all the way down? No, I mean it's... Just push forward I'm, work? I'm gonna... Just forward? Yeah. Yeah? Forward works. Reverse does not work? I just need to loosen. Oh, it's just kind of... It's just kind of stuck up there, right? Yeah, yeah, just yeah. Stuck? Yeah, put it, put it in forward for a sec. Forward? Give it a little juicer. Just a hair. Okay. Oh, okay. Now, uh, forward. reverse. I'm gonna push you off. So is this like a two-person boat? I think this might be. <laughs> We're gonna back you in a little bit more. Woo! It smells like catfish in here. There he goes! I don't know what Rob's gonna name this thing, but it's certainly an interesting little vehicle. No, 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 he's gotta give us a jack. It's okay. You just gotta juicy, you just gotta learn. You gotta learn its quirks. You're, the boat is literally leaning like this. I'm gonna balance it out. I think we should do like a little bit of test run, just kinda. Yeah, well, let's just putt for a minute. Just, for, just to see. Oh, dude! Team Ricky! <laughs> I was waiting for you to see dude. that. <laughs> That's one of the first things I noticed. Look at that. It's all about the thump. Team yeah. Ricky! 
I'm not going very far out the gate. Like I see all that water down there. Check the back. Okay. Yeah, there's there's a little flow there's in there. There's a little flowage, and I see it. Where's that coming from? It looks like it's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, the bilge sounds like it's on. I know, but this water's coming in. It, right so here. it sounds like it's coming in. Oh, no, there's water coming in. It looks the boat. like it's coming in right there. There's water coming in the boat right here, dude. Yeah, I can there's... see it. No, I can legitimately yeah, see it. I can see it. It's there's coming. a hole in the boat. It's gush. Full blown gush. <laughs> oh no. It's coming in from a pipe, dude. Is it? It's a, there's a white pipe. Oh, it's the. Uh... So this is the live well? Wait, I'm confused. No, I'm confused now. Why is there. Well, folks, um, that is a catfish head. That is giant, y'all. Look at that. Huge catfish head. There was a guy that just caught a catfish over here. There's a huge catfish over here. What are we doing? We need to be catfishing. Except we have leakages. Holy cow. I need to be doing some catfishing. This is crazy. All this water is from the live well. But the thing is, the, the hose is the one that's cracked. So if the water's coming through the hose... I, but I know, but is it coming out of the live well and into that hose? I think that white hose right there is the live well hose. The white hose right here is the... Is, the is there a hole? Do you see a... I know where the hole is at. It's right here. Okay. It's not like hella tight, but... I think we're, uh, I think we're reducing the amount of water. <laughs> So, I mean, there's still water coming in from here, so you're just saying, as long as you see the water, but it's this water right here. What is that noise? I don't know, every time. I like the, uh... <laughs> it's like, ding, you win. Ding. Ding. So we got no catfishing poles. We're straight bow and arrow here. But uh, we're doing a little test round right now just to make sure uh, th that this thing is not going to sink. There was a hole, there was water filling up, but uh, I think it was the, the intake for the live well. I think that's settled down now. Hopefully. Get, get her up. Get it up, baby! Woo! Hey. Try it again. Maybe I need to trim down more. I didn't want to drive far. Yeah, baby! Cash money back again. Cash money's out. Y'all, somebody has poked a big old alligator gar. Look at that puppy. Woo! They do live in here. This uh, this lake has the Trinity running into it. So. I don't know if that one was shot, dude. Rackley, I need you back in the front. Okay. Oh, oh, that's just a stick. Oh, you got me super oh I got excited. After a long voyage on the water. Dude, it's been a long you're voyage ready. all day. Oh, jumper. Carp jumping back in here. That's good. That's a big one. That is a huge one, bro. That's a big Look one. at that big buff leaf. That's a buffalo. You shoot, you shoot it. Shoot it. There you go. Good double shot. double pinned him. Dude, that's one of the biggest ones I've ever seen shot. Holy. Dude, look our arrows just crossed. God dude, there. he takes up the whole entire that's live well. Big. That's the biggest <laughs> buffalo I've ever shot. Oh. Holy cow, that's like a 20 pounder. <laughs> yeah, check this out. Yeah. Look how big that is. That is a big one. Oh my god, I didn't bring my camera. What is that, a carp? <laughs> yeah, it's a big old carp. Rob, freaking sweet shot, dude. I uh, I didn't even see this guy. I was I was looking off over here, and it, this fish was right on the bank. This is a gigantic buffalo carp. So, 
two arrows. I think he's probably upper twenties. I don't know. He's he's upper twenties. That's giant. He's done. That is the the first fish out of this boat, and it's a giant. I agree. I'm not really a fan of the shooting the gar unless they're like I've never shot a huge one, but these like these run the bass spawn in my opinion, and uh, they're not supposed to be in here anyway. So this is take this them out is, all day. I just want to I just want a picture with them. I can't make it. Up. I'm just gonna go. Mm -hmm. Oh, went sideways. See one? Yep. There Got you go. Him. There you go. Oh yeah. There you go. Good shot. Yep, yep, yep. That's the old actual carp there. Well, that's a legit carp. Yeah, it's a legit common carp. Good shot, dude. There we go. Just had to figure out my my shot a little bit. That's a decent sized carp too. That's a big old one. Look at that common. Got some grass to go along with it. Whoa. Oh, buddy, that's wow. why we don't have the skeeter out here today. <laughs> so just so you're aware, you're not really supposed to put them back in the water. You're according to, to Tex, yeah. <laughs> I know you guys see them all the time if you're bass fishing with holes in them, but it's actually not supposed to, you're not supposed to do that, so. Uh, it really doesn't matter what you do with them after that, but um, you just can't put them back in the water. But might as well use them for some uh, coyote treats. Oh, there's there's another there. one. Get yeah, him. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Yeah. He's on the left hand side. He's moving left. Ah, shot too far ahead. Oh my gosh. Give it a shot. He's right there. Dude, they're all the way back up in there, man. We are in the forests. There's so many yar back here. We've shot a uh, huge buffalo carp so far, like one of the biggest I've ever seen. Uh, a big common carp. And there's gar, there's spotted gar, there's long nosed gar up there. Did I get him? I thought, oh no, yeah, yeah you did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I got yeah, yeah. Him. Oh, there's another one with it. I don't. There's another one with I it. Absolutely don't that fish. There's another one right there. I don't know, you're tripping over. I see the bottom half of them right there. He's swimming out this way. See him? Yeah. He's swimming this way. And you got, got him. Got it, dude. Smoked him. Oh, did he come off? Oh, he did. Oh, crazy. Damn. Oh, that's a, that's a grass carp, that dude. A grass carp? That's an actual grass carp. That one definitely needs to die. You want to get him again? Let's see here. Let's see if he'll get a little bit farther away. <laughs> I, think okay. he, I think he's dead. God, look at these gar, y'all. I can literally just grab them with my hands. Look at this. No, definitely, definitely not connected. How bad? How bad? We got one tool in here. We got a pair of vice grips. Is that bad enough? Yeah, that's pretty good. So I just spent, uh, seriously, 15 minutes of my life uh, trying to get the troll motor back in. No. Like, what in the? It got locked. The cord broke. Then the wires disconnected. This is reminding me of like <laughs> like when I was really young, like like 18, 19, 20, like my first boat. Yeah. Know? Yeah. This you, is what it's reminding me of. Right? Yeah. I think I remember when I first met you, you talking about your other boat. Yeah. My other boat was, it was like a, it was a 17 footer. It had like weird quirky things in it that, you know, Only like you. This, the, when you put it on the tra trailer, you had to put it on a certain way. Now we don't have a battery. Let me go back out of here. Okay, well, another jerry rig. Oh, they're up on that bank too. Dude, I'm just gonna go directly for these ones. This is this is the juice in here. We found the good stuff. All the way back in here on that bank, this bank. I can smell the carp. Yeah. I think they're gonna. Oh my gosh, they're out of water, dude. Yeah. Look at them up. They're on going the bank. straight out of the water. They're knocking butterflies. We gotta hit this double. Oh, there's. Oh my God, they're, so moving. they're moving too quick though. Oh, he's oh they're stopped. They're stopped, dude. You take, you take oh. right. I'll take left. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, I think we got oh. dubs. Wait. 
Yeah. yeah we, we got did. dubs. We got dubs. We got dubs. Dude, they lined up perfectly for us. There was even another one. We're caught up there. Ah, okay. Well, that is a bleeder. I'm gonna go ahead and open the cooler. I don't wanna get blood all over this nice new boat. It's all over. Do I? <laughs> good. Oh, that was a good one. I Savage. Did. That's what I'm talking about. The battery's almost dead. Good. It's a definite no. Uh, we've got the scene imp on high with the 12 volt here. Trying to get back to the ramp. Rob's gonna have a, a fun week trying to figure out what's going on here. Thank goodness we're by the boat ramp. Yeah, well, we took it. Took pretty caution today. You, yeah, th that's not normally something that we do. No, no, but it's also a new boat. If it was our boats, we would have just put it in and ripped. All right, well, y'all, the uh, crucial landing here. We have, uh, we got our troll motor rigged out. The cord broke, so we're gonna have to pull this up at the correct timing. something pretty sketchy here. It's an interesting little little deal there. Oh yeah. We got our fish juice on our arm. We got our fish loaded and uh the coolers back here. It's good shooting today man. It's good shooting. Is that is that one of your first times shooting uh carp in, in boots like that? Uh yeah I'd, I'd give these boots props. They got nice squishy soles. They look good. They look good. We got gunk. It doesn't smell good. No. I, I, I like smelling fish. I do not like smelling these fish. One of them had a big old green worm that crawled out of it too. It was pretty nasty. It was a fun time getting to take some of them suckers. <laughs> Get it? Suckers out of the lake. Y'all something is digging under my house. I don't know what it is yet. I probably need to set up a camera, but it is not good. Just made it back from a fun day of bow fishing, y'all. That's something I don't do that often. That was probably the best bet for today. We actually started out thinking we were gonna do some bass fishing, but uh, that ended up not happening. So with all these floods, that are happening um a lot of these gar and carp are just going to be up in in people's yards on the lake eating eating the grass uh spawning thrashing around in the shallows doing things like that so much better opportunity to uh to go bow fishing than bass fishing where the bass are just all spread out amongst the trees and bushes and the waters come up it's just fluctuating a lot it makes it a lot tougher especially when they're trying to spawn and the lake's just good doing like this it's crazy and if you guys want to check out rob's boat his adventures with the, the sea nymph, I think he's calling it, tinkering around with that. I'll have him linked down below. And very soon, y'all, we're gonna be packing our final packings to head to New Zealand for the biggest outdoor adventure of my life. It's coming, counting down the days, y'all. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe right here to the channel. Let me know what you think about bow fishing down in the comments, and I'll see you guys on the next one.